smart guy is an American sitcom centering on the exploits of child genius T.J. Henderson, who moves from being an elementary school student in the fourth grade to a high school student in the tenth grade, attending the same school as his two elder siblings Yvette and Marcus. Created by Danny Callis, the series ran for three seasons on the WB from April 2, 1997 to May 16, 1999. The series was produced by Japase Entertainment and Danny Callis Productions, in association with Walt Disney Television. Plot, set in Washington, D.C., the show centers on the misadventures of boy genius and youngest child T.J. Henderson, who at the age of 10 moves from elementary school and gets transferred to Piedmont High School, where he ends up becoming a high school sophomore with teenagers as his classmates. He must adjust to the life with older but not necessarily wiser high school teenagers a Euro including his brother Marcus and Marcus's best friend Mo. Episodes typically deal with TJ's missteps of trying to fit in as a kid genius, while being a small kid in high school, as well as the contrast between his smarts and his brother's underachieving nature. Older brother Marcus Henderson, the suave and underachieving middle child, also deals with teenage problems such as finding a date and doing homework. Their father Floyd Henderson, a widowed single father who owns his own roofing business, deals with the problems of raising his three kids, Yvette, Marcus and TJ, since his wife's death. Floyd's only daughter, and Marcus and TJ's older sister Yvette, usually is the level-headed member of the family a Euro similar to Floyd in that respect a Euro, and is the typical overachieving student. Characters equals main characters equals TJ Henderson played by THJ Murray the character of TJ Henderson is the youngest child in his family portrayed as 10 to 11 years old in seasons 1 and 2 and 12 in season 3 as the show's title suggests TJ exhibits exceptional intelligence with an IQ of 180 knows several different languages and has a photographic memory he skips six grades from fourth to tenth grade due to his intelligence, and because TJ was not feeling challenged with fourth grade studies. Outside of the occasional moments of awkwardness that are bound to occur when a child interacts with high schoolers, TJ has a peaceable existence in the school, and is eager to be involved in school functions. So much so, that he becomes the mascot for his school basketball team, which leads to occasional bullying. TJ is later promoted to being the equipment manager for the Piedmont High Penguins basketball team. He spends a fair amount of time at school with his older brother, Marcus, and his brother's best friend, Mo Tibbs. Although they have some tense moments, it is obvious that the two brothers are Euro, who share a bedroom throughout the series a Euro care for each other deeply. Though TJ spends much of his time around teenagers, he is occasionally seen spending time with kids his own age which occasionally results in his attempts to try to fit in with them in situations where he feels out of place. TJ plays keyboard for Marcus's band Macadicious in several episodes, after one of the group's other members breaks his finger in an accident. Marcus Henderson, played by Jason Weaver, the character of Marcus Henderson is TJ's older brother and the second oldest child in the Henderson family. He is a fairly popular student at Piedmont High and reacts remarkably well to his younger brother sharing nearly every one of his classes, although tensions do arise from time to time. He gets average a Euro, or below average a Euro grades, simply because he does not apply himself. He is a forward on his school's basketball team and has several love interests throughout the run of the show, none of which are seen for more than one episode. He is also the lead vocalist for the band which he created, Macadicious, in which his best friend Mo is the bassist and TJ is the keyboardist. Morris L. Mo Tibbs, played by Omar Gooding, the character of Mo Tibbs is Marcus and TJ's best friend. He is typically portrayed in the show as being dim-witted and sometimes gullible, to the point where in the episode I was a teenage sports wife, TJ makes Mo part of a placebo experiment by giving him sugar-filled pill capsules that TJ claims will stimulate synapses in the brain, in order to better perform on tests, only for Mo to inform other students about the pills and flooding TJ with office for the brain pills. Despite his heavy and muscular build, Mo is usually depicted as a friendly person, whom they both are romantically interested in, 
resulting in TJ stepping into the altercation to defend Marcus. Mo is discovered to be an excellent chef, due to the tutelage of Yvette, he plays bass guitar in Marcus' band Macadicious, and is also a talented barber. Floyd is often annoyed with Mo's antics, such as his constantly eating from their fridge and even once having slept in TJ's bed. Despite this, Floyd seems to genuinely care about Mo and shares with him a passion for barbecuing. Mo all but lives at the Henderson's house and hates eating at his own house. In the season 3 episode That's My Mama, Mo accidentally overhears a conversation between his parents Delroy and Verla May that they had adopted him as a baby a year old. This leads him to have a falling out with his parents and Marcus and TJ helping him find his birth mother a euro, who is revealed to be a fortune teller in Delaware named Chilia Eeks. A recurring catchphrase of his throughout the series is, Hello Dare. Yvette Henderson, played by Essence Atkins, the character of Tasha Yvette Henderson a euro who is generally referred to by her middle name a Euro as the older sister of Marcus and TJ and the only daughter of Floyd Henderson. She is in the 11th grade in Season 1 and graduates high school at the end of Season 3. Yvette is intelligent, is usually level-headed, is a women's rights activist and has a passion for art, including drama, photography and dancing. She is also the editor of the school newspaper, The Penguin. Yvette sometimes finds it hard being the only girl in a family full of mostly men, as seen in the season 2 episode Men Working Badly. Episodes in which her character dates a fellow Piedmont High student feature Yvette sometimes overthinking the relationship, such as when she dated a dim-witted swimmer whom she had mainly a physical attraction to in the episode Big Picture, or when high school senior Yvette dated a sophomore in the episode T.A. or not T.A. in the season 1 episode The Code, it is revealed that she has a fake ID that says she is 28 years old. After being rejected from Princeton University, Yvette planned to stay in Washington, D.C. to attend Georgetown University as the series ends. Although the character of Yvette is in her late teens, Essence Atkins is actually only 10 years younger than John Marshall Jones, who plays her character's father Floyd. Floyd Henderson, played by John Marshall Jones, the character of Floyd Henderson is a widower and the single father of sons TJ and Marcus and daughter Yvette. He is a self-made businessman and owns a roofing company called Floyd Henderson Contracting. After the loss of his wife, he would eventually start dating once again, such as in season 2's Dateline, when TJ sets Floyd up with a woman named Jamie through an online dating service, whom TJ eventually gets jealous of after Floyd spends less time with him and in the season 3 episode Beating is Fundamental, when he dates a woman whose son TJ dislikes, though many of the women that he is seen dating in the series are usually not seen for more than one episode. He is frequently a comic foil to most of the main characters, including TJ. He also gives good moral advice to all of his children. Equals recurring characters equals, Nina Walsh a Euro played by Tinsley Grimes, Nina is one of Yvette's friends and is seen with her most of the time, however she is only seen during the third season. She works at the store in the mall, where in the episode Get a Job, she was forced to follow black people, because her boss Ms. Hendra thought that African Americans who were in the store would steal. She is deep and poetic and drools over cute guys. Dean Lamont White a Euro played by R.V. Lowe, Jr. Dean is a teenager who attends Piedmont High. His usual hijinks include taking pictures of Marcus and Mo and selling them to a company for profit, and scamming Marcus and Mo into selling health bars in a pyramid scheme which he involves every other student in school to sell them as well, among other things. In the season 2 episode The Dating Game, Dean had a crush on Yvette and asked her out to the school dance, which Yvette rejects repeatedly. Mackie Nagel a Euro played by J.D. Walsh Mackie is a student who is in Marcus and Moe's grade. He is fairly popular and is definitely not the sharpest knife in the drawer. He tries to fit in at school by buying new clothes and speaking slang, but most of the time makes a fool of himself and ends with a comment stating it's because I'm white, isn't it? In the season 3 episode Perchance to Dream, he has a dream about Yvette kissing him as she tells him about her dreams about Mo. He often wears flannel shirts. He actually ends up streaking during the graduation ceremony in the season 3 episode The Graduate. 
Basil Militic a Euro played by James K. Ward, he is the vice principal of the school. He is cheap when it comes to school necessities, and sometimes is presented as incompetent. Coach Gerber a Euro played by Dan Florek, he is the gym teacher and basketball coach at the school. He is bald and aging and went through a divorce. He once taught math and gets angry easily. He sleeps in his office since he can no longer afford a home of his own. He once mentioned that he has prostate problems. Brandy Andra copywriter Dixon a Euro played by Killer Pratt, Brandy is a girl around TJ's age, and met TJ. At the arcade in season 2's Bad Boy. She is very good at basketball and joined the team TJ plays on in season 3's She Got Game, but she stopped playing due to TJ being upset with her when she begins starting and TJ is benched. She wears ghetto fabulous clothing and depicts an exaggerated stereotype of youth. It is obvious that they have crashes on each other, but it is never focused on. Brandy only appears in two episodes, Bad Boy in Season 2, and She Got Game in Season 3. Episodes Production Notes T.A.H.J. Maori and Omar Gooding are the only cast members not to appear in every episode. T.A.H.J. Maori did not appear in the Season 3 episode Get a Job, and Omar Gooding did not appear in A Little Knowledge as Jason Weaver. Essence Atkins and John Marshall Jones are the only cast members to appear in every episode. The series was taped at Sunset Gower Studios in Hollywood. The establishing shot of the fictional Piedmont High School later appeared on another Washington, D.C.-based Disney series, Corey in the House for the Disney Channel, and also as the establishing shot for John Adams High on the ABC series Boy Meets World. Equals main settings equals. The Henderson House a majority of the show's scenes take place in the Henderson house or the school. Originally, most of the family scenes took place in the kitchen, with no living room area seen during the first season. The living room set when it was added in season 2 had a window and the front door at stage center, and the stairs and kitchen doorway at stage right. The kitchen set was scaled back as well with the back stairs that lead to the bedrooms removed. The layout changed again in season 3 with the kitchen remaining the same, but the living room layout changes including the front door now located at stage left. Marcus and TJ's bedroom is the only set to remain the same during the course of the entire series. Piedmont High School Piedmont High is the high school that Yvette, Marcus, Mo and TJ attend. The four main sets seen in the show are the classroom, the hallway, the cafeteria and the auditorium. The hallway changes its layout twice during the series. Equals theme song and opening sequences equals, the theme song for the first and second seasons was produced and written by Christian Rex who also scored the music for the entire second season. The theme song for Smart Guys' third and last season was performed by Harmy and featured cast member Omar Gooding. A short version of the season 3 theme which is different from the regular theme song was used in episodes and which ran over the allotted time. The opening sequence for the first two seasons was fully computer animated with the exception of the cast video headshots. The show's title logo was shown at the beginning and again at the end of the sequence when the main characters are shown above it. The season three opening titles were made to resemble a music video. Syndication, three months after Smart Guy was cancelled on the WB. Reruns began airing on the Disney Channel from September 1999 and continued to air until September 2003, and again in a back to school themed marathon in August 2004. Smart Guy was aired on the N. Noggins television programming block, from April 7, 2002 until April 23, 2004. The show was removed from the Canada based Family Channel and was replaced by Wizards of Waverly Place in October 2007 though it is still on Disney Channel in the United Kingdom, but not on a recurring basis in the UK. In late 2006, the show started airing on Disney Channel in Australia and New Zealand. In 2006, the UK Disney Channel pulled the show, which at the time was only aired during working days in the early afternoon. The series aired on BET from September 6, 2008 to June 6, 2009 and again from July to September 2009. The series began airing on GMC-TV on March 2, 2013, airing only on weekends. 
The series began airing on MTV2 on April 19, 2013. Awards and nominations. References. Smart Guy at TV Guide. External links. Smart Guy at the Internet Movie Database. SmartGuyTV.com